Welcome back, Legendary Potato here, and today I want to show you guys custom spawners for Minecraft Console Edition and using Universal Minecraft Editor. So here I have a spawner placed down on the ground, and as well as a bunch of custom spawn eggs which won't work unless we put it inside a spawner here, so I'm going to be showing off a lot of cool things you can do with them, and a lot of spawn eggs that you didn't even know could really even exist. So if you guys will enjoy this video, if you do, make sure you leave a like on it, but anyways, here it is. So what we got is a bunch of spawn eggs in our inventory, you'll recognize like this one's a vindicator, but the rest of them are all blanks. So I'm going to show off a lot of cool entities that you probably didn't think you could put into a spawner. Uh, some of them might work, some of them might not work, so I'm just going to show off a bunch that I put into my inventory and kind of show how you can do this into your own world as well. So here we got things like XP, so just going to spawn some XP. So I pretty much made these spawners, so it's going to spawn every second so you can see it kind of working really quickly and stuff. Uh, but you can modify the timings and everything like that for yourself. And then here we got things like, um, I'm not sure what, the oh these are eggs. So it's pretty much placing down eggs, so there's like chickens sometimes spawning as well. Uh, so it just kind of spawns eggs, which is pretty cool. And then we got arrows, so it's going to spawn in some arrows and then... Uh, we're not going to be able to spawn in anymore just because it has the maximum arrows reached. Uh, but then this one, snowballs, kind of similar to the eggs, kind of spawn them around here. And then this one, this one's probably one of the coolest ones, is the, the Vindicator things. Or is it the Evoker ones? I'm not really sure. But basically, the things that he spawns, pretty much just spawns from the spawner. So you get this really cool effect where it's just kind of spawning in from the floor. And just kind of like bites up. And just looks really cool, look at this. So it just kind of like, you can put this in a room, and then suddenly like it just becomes this really dangerous place. And then, obviously you can kind of set it up, so if you walk near it, then it activates. And, you know, it just seems kind of cool like that. Just like, yeah, these things coming out of the floor, so... Um, next one here, which is uh, Fireball, which I don't think seems to work. Uh, maybe I did something wrong, of course, but uh, yeah, so it seems like just this is probably one of them that doesn't work, but there's Ender Pearls, uh, so it just kind of is cool like that, kind of creates that cool effect. Oop, I walked into the spawner, or not the spawner, the teleporter. Uh, but yeah, just like cool stuff like this, like Ender Pearls, uh, which won't do anything. And then what's this? Oh, Potions. Let's see if that one actually does anything. I don't know if it will. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Wait, no? Oh, okay, I don't think so. But then let's uh, put those away, and then we'll grab these spawners. Okay, I don't know. I think it's like these ones? Probably. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is kind of like... Oh, okay, I think this is a llama spit. You know, it's kind of weird, right? Uh, but hopefully this kind of inspires you maybe to do something cool. Maybe make a, a custom map where you can take advantage of these kind of particles or entities that you wouldn't normally be able to use uh, in, you know, normal game. Whoa, okay! And we just blew up the spawner. <laughs> what was that? That was TNT. Wait, whoa. Whoa, wait, I want to test that again. <laughs> that one is actually pretty cool. Oh, yeah, look at that. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so then let's move over to this one, uh, which is just a Vindicator. I think we have to turn into Knight. Uh, but this one's, you know, kind of usual, just kind of like it's a Vindicator, um, which you, you can't get normally, so. Or, oh, it's supposed to actually be the, um, what was it? This was supposed to be the, um, what's his face called? It's supposed to be the one, it's the, um, the Illusioner, that was what that was supposed to be. But you can get the Illusioner as well, same sort of thing as well. I must have put in the wrong one, but you get the idea with that, that was supposed to be. Uh, so let's put down another spawner. Uh, and then this one is Ender Dragon, so it looks like, yeah, just spawned in two right there. So, that was probably a good one to save for the last now, they're flying around there doing that. Uh, and then the last one, we'll just do over here. Uh, this one is Snow Golem, so it looks like they suffocate right away, which is a little sad, but yeah, so tons of cool things like this Ender Dragons now in our world just because we did that. So I think that's kind of neat as well, just kind of like, uh, oh, they actually resized the dragon, so it doesn't look weird in the spawner. That's kind of neat. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. You know, let me know what you thought. Like, there's tons of crazy things you can do with that. Like, you you can spawn in an Ender Dragon at a certain time when somebody walks in a certain place. I think that would be pretty cool. But let me know what you, uh, what you guys thought was your favorite or if there's any I missed because there's a bunch of other ones that I didn't show off in this video that you can do as well. Or you can even make them more complicated than what I did in this video as well. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this into Universal Minecraft Editor for those of you who want to actually do it for yourselves. So essentially what's going on here is I put a bunch of spawn eggs into my inventory which are all marked with question marks just because they don't have um, you know kind of a picture for them. But basically what you want to do is you want to have some sort of copy code uh, for a spawn egg and wh whatever it could be. And then what you want to do, or you can even copy the tags as well. Uh, but the important part here, if you want them to be different, is you want to change this here to whatever entity you want it to be. So for each of these here as well, they're all different. So if I go ahead and expand each of these as well, you can pretty much see that we have things like um, 
And we have eggs, just like the normal eggs that were spawning from the chickens, uh, arrows, etc. So there's pretty much all the entity IDs. So pretty much you can find every single entity and everything like that, all the IDs, right here on this site here, pretty much uh, the wiki, which I'll leave down in the description as well, which pretty much has every single thing in the game, like normal entities are all here, passive mobs, uh, and then some of the weird things you can put in, which I kind of, you know, took some of them um, off this list. So whatever you want to put in, you can just pretty much throw in these, just kind of copy, and then paste it back into Universal Minecraft Editor. And so you can do pretty much anything like the, the vehicles, you can do like any of these projectiles, and mobiles, drops, whatever you want to do. Uh, so you can kind of customize them into your worlds in your sort of way like that. Uh, so if I wanted to do something like the fangs, like that was probably my favorite one, I would just copy this and then I would just go back over onto Universal Minecraft Editor and then I would just go ahead and paste it into whatever spawning I'd like. So this one, for example, already has it right here. So then I can just put that in and then it's all set. I can just put it into a monster spawner and it works like that. So whichever one you want, the list is all there. I recommend you go ahead and check it out for yourself. But that's pretty much how you do it, like I did there. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure you check out the tool in the description below as well in case you haven't already, as it's probably now the best MBT editor that's out there. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys, and see you guys next time.